Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, I'm starting out the vlog pretty late tonight and I really wanted this to be focused around what's in my gym bag type of vibes. Bring it back to back in the day. It is 7.20 p.m. and I've been editing away all day, waiting, refreshing the tracking for my new bag for the gym. So clearly I got too excited and I busted the box open and I was like, wait, we should definitely do a proper unboxing video. And this way tomorrow, because I already worked out and everything else, like I'm in pajamas. Tomorrow I can put all my gym stuff in there and then show you guys if I like it for the gym, if the size is good. And I already know the quality is bomb. I'll explain more in the video today. Um, but show you guys what fits in the bag. And of course I'll drop the links down below. This is not a sponsored video or anything else. This is just what I wanted to pick up for myself, treat myself to something really nice that I know that I will most likely really love. So I ended up ordering this bag. Did I get it from Nordstrom? I think I got it from Nordstrom. Oh no, I think I got it from the Rebecca Minkoff website. I'm not sure. Check the links down below. But this is how it shipped and I might have to get some scissors out. Guys, I haven't purchased. Oh, this is big. Wait a minute. Did I get the right bag? The Jillian backpack, size one size, color military. Why is this so big? Oh my God, wait, it's stuffed. I have to also do a proper size comparison because I have this bag in the mini. And this is supposed to be like the medium size. They're supposed to be like a bigger backpack size next to this. So let me show you guys what my current bag is looking like. This is what I've been using for the gym. This is the Rebecca Minkoff Jillian mini backpack. So it's very small. It definitely does the trick, but I can't bring all of the gym essentials that I feel like I would like to have with me. Um, but as far as like an everyday bag, this is amazing. The quality is incredible. I don't know about you guys, but this thing looks brand freaking new. And I did a proper unboxing the day that I picked this up. I can't remember when that was. It was a couple years back, but I'll pop it in the cards in case you guys want um, a further review and everything on this bag. So I've thrown it around a lot. I know the quality is incredible. The leather is so soft and like buttery the hardware is amazing i will say that it has tarnished um a little bit but that's like very minor it's not like people are going to be looking this close to your hardware like oh my god it's tarnishing like that really doesn't bother me um as far as the actual structure goes like it is just incredible quality um and they do these in so many different color options and hardware options as well so yeah, that's just like a little bit on my current bag. Um, so it probably will tell you why I bought another version, just a little bit different. So let's hope this isn't massive. Oh my God, it's huge. I almost thought about getting the size bigger. I'm so happy I did it because I'm the type of person, wow, it is stuffed, so it won't be this big but I'm the type of person that doesn't like to put my stuff in a locker in the gym so I wanted something that was small enough for me to have you know next to me as I bounce from machine to machine that wasn't going to be bulky or in the way but I also wanted to make sure that I had enough space to carry things like I don't know a shaker bottle if I wanted to some water jump rope equipment accessories like bands headphones sanitizer you know like all that kind of like gym type of stuff so I'm just gonna take off all the wrapping and then I'll try it on as well for you guys and then tomorrow I'll pack it up with you. But wow, this is huge. I'm so excited too, cause I got a different color. Ah, and I hope it doesn't get gross and like show a lot of wear, you know, just being in the gym or whatever, so. I don't know, I almost got black, but I was like, girl, you have a black bag, you get everything in black, let's get something a little bit different. And I think this will also be super cute for just like springtime, going out and doing adventures, bringing my equipment with me, having enough space to be, you know, hands-free. They definitely wrapped the bag nice. And there are a few different ways that you can wear this bag, so I'll show you guys that in this video too this is nice oh my god i'm 
so excited. So excited. All right, and there's gotta be a lot of stuffing in here. This is big. Look at this. Mini regular. This looks like a jumbo, but like I said, there is a jumbo size. Um, looking at it, you cannot fit a computer in here, just so you guys know if you're asking that in the comments. You can't. So it does come with a dust bag, which is nice. So if you're not, you know, wearing a bag. Guys, I haven't done an unboxing like this in so long. Who is she? <laughs> if you're not wearing the bag, um, this is amazing. I always recommend holding on to these so your bags are um, in the best condition as possible. So take care of your stuff. And I'm always about quality over quantity. I don't need a million freaking backpacks. But I feel like this one is like stylish and functional, you know what I mean? Like it's just cute. Ooh, don't want my dogs to eat that. Yeah, so inside, if you guys are familiar, or I'm sorry, not familiar, it's basically like a bucket bag just because of the structure, right? So it has this very small opening to it and it also features this clasp detail with their signature tassels as well so this one obviously is in the military colorway they do a bunch of different leathers like pebbled leather smooth finishes silver hardware gold hardware this one obviously has the gold which i felt like would be nice for spring leading up into summertime so it has this clasp so if you want to have more space to kind of throw more items bulkier items like you know headphones or something water bottle that will definitely fit in here you can wear it loose like this but i usually just keep it clasped at the bottom which will actually kind of make the bag a little bit more compact and not so like wide like sitting out so wide and what's really cool about this if you happen to be let's say traveling exploring different cities and areas you're on public transportation and you're wearing a backpack right you don't really know who's behind you what's going on what's cool about it and why i love this design is you can take the clasp and there's like a D-ring, so you can just clip it at the top. So everything is gonna be secure. You cannot really get into the zipper when it's looking like this. And if someone tries to do that, you can most definitely feel something's not right. You know what I'm saying? So for that, I love this bag for that reason. And it also just gives it a whole different look. Like it just, you can wear it so many different ways. So I'm interested to see how much actually fits in here. There are really no, oh wait, what's this? Oh, they give you extra tassels. So if you need those. And, oh, the tag is in here. I'm not sure how much this was. Oh, 298, which is not bad considering how long I've had this bag. Like it is so worth the price. Um, and most of the time you can find a really good sale. So if I can find this sale, cause I got like $50 off on this bag. Not gonna lie, it was amazing. So I had to snatch it up. Um, I know a couple of the colorways are on sale. So I'll be sure to link those for you guys, but it's just great quality at really affordable prices. Um, there is actually, um, a zipper in the inside. I don't know how functional it is to get in there, but it is a zipper closure. So maybe if you have more, it's pretty deep as well. Let's see if my phone will fit in here. If you have, let's say like more, um, not sensitive items, but personal items that are more valuable, that might be nice. Oh, your phone fits in there, perfect. This is like the big one too. Um, that you don't want to just be floating around. That would be a good pocket to maybe put makeup items, you know, smaller trinkets that you don't want just floating around. And that's actually a nice difference because on the mini, this is just a quick comparison, you guys. There's no zipper in the inside. It has like, it's gonna be hard to tell because it's all black. It has like those open pockets and they're very small. So you really can't fit that much in there. So I kind of like that interior pocket it's really nice and on the back there's another zipper pouch that's nice so you can put things that you might need easier access to oh my phone fits in there hold on now that might be the perfect place to put your phone you can't really tell like the indentation on it i'm so excited you guys 
this might be like my new favorite bag. Also, there's a couple more pockets on this bag as well, which I think are very, very functional. These little side pockets here. I tend to put lip products in there, things that I need easier access to that I don't want to necessarily go digging and diving for in here. So I'll probably do the same. Definitely can't fit your phone in there. It's kind of an odd shape too, but I find it's perfect for um, lip product. Hand sanitizer, you know, those type of things. I don't think I would put my keys in there, um, but I'm sure that you could, like in this one. It's small, but you can fit a lot. Like I literally have four lip products in there. So that just goes to show how much you can actually fit um, in those side pockets. As far as just like wearing it, there are adjustable straps here which is nice. I was just not prepared for it to be this freaking big, but for gym, I feel like it's a nice ideal size. Definitely wanna adjust my straps a little bit. My editing outfit, <laughs> y'all know how it is. Yeah, this is so cute. I like this. I think the color is very nice as well, and it doesn't sit out too much. So definitely stay tuned tomorrow. Um, or maybe my next video. Maybe I should do a second video, I don't know. But I wanna show you guys what this one looks like on the back so you can see a little bit of a difference. Yeah, maybe my next vlog I'll do a what's in my gym bag. You guys can see the size difference for sure. This is definitely very mini. And I think that this, this could be good for every day. Especially if you're like me, you're a vlogger, you always have something in your hands, you're walking your dog, whatever. You wanna bring some things with you wherever you're going, be hands-free. This is for sure a really good option. Very, very nice. And all the pockets, I just appreciate how there's no like big brands. You know how there's just like Michael Kors, Michael Kors, LV, LV, you don't need all that, okay? You don't even know what brand this is if you're just looking at it. Because the only thing that says what it is is on the back, which is where you would be wearing it anyway, that says Rebecca Minkoff on this plate. So if you're like me and you don't need to have a bunch of brands in your face screaming at you, you like things that are very minimal, things that are simple, that go with a lot of different outfits, this is probably gonna be one of your favorite go-tos. And it's one of those, like I would say, timeless bags that you can have for years and years and you won't really get tired of it because Again, it's very essential, very basic for your wardrobe, right? The only thing that might be seasonal is the color, but even then, I feel like this could go for fall time, spring, summer, and winter. It's just like one of those nice neutral tones. Wow, I really miss reviewing things on my YouTube channel. I just reminded myself how good I am at it. Um, also, one thing to note, there is a top handle here at the top. I do tend to carry my backpack like this um, sometimes. It just kind of depends on what I'm doing, where I'm going, um, etc., etc. It's not too heavy. Obviously, there's nothing in it right now. Um, stay tuned for a full what's in my gym bag because that's what I'm going to be using this as. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick little video for you guys. And again, I'll put the link down below if any of you guys are interested in it and the different like color options and leather finishes. This does have like a light pebbled finish. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Very subtle, but they do have some bags that are very intense with the pebbling. It is a very smushy, soft, buttery leather it's very like malleable which i personally love about my mini backpack it's just very carefree and not too structured however it does keep its structure because of the base so keep that in mind it's just perfect i love it <laughs> definitely a purchase that I do not regret so that's about it for this video you guys thumbs up subscribe and drop a comment down below if you would like to see a full video on what actually fits in this bag and you know what I'll be actually carrying with me to the gym and like an update once I actually wear it to the gym so <laughs> gotta get a little thumbnail in there I'll see you guys in my next video very soon Bye.